Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's weekly market view for Monday, the 31st of July to Friday, the 4th of August, 2023. My name is Vishal. Let's get started. All right. So let's start uh, with the key levels uh, for the Nifty and uh, the monthly chart, as you can see, is uh, indicating uh, bullishness, uh, all time highs. On the weekly, uh, we do see a little bit of a consolidation. Now, it'll be interesting to see whether this consolidation leads to a, a bigger rally or this consolidation leads to a little bit of a pause and then a drop. So nothing much clear on the weekly. Again, uh, more or less um, bullish. If we move on to the 240-minute chart, this was uh, the level of demand, 19,546 to 19,389. Price did come closer to this level. And now it's uh, giving a little bit of a bounce and uh, showing a little bit of bullishness. So right now the higher time frames are indicating that uh, market has just given us a pullback and we are uh, more or less resuming uh, the trend to the upside. If you look at the 75 minutes chart, on the 75 minutes chart, uh, we see prices are right in the middle of this consolidation, right? So on the top here, you have 19,935 to 19,991. This is that pro gap. And uh, at the bottom, you have 19,493 to 19,385. So these are the levels to watch out for in the coming week. If you look at the 15 minute chart right now, and uh, let me just zoom into this chart here. So right now we are into this uh, 15 minute uh, supply level, 19,721 to 757. Markets are finding it a little difficult to breach the 19,700 uh, levels and uh, they are making a reasonable attempt to do that, but failing to do so. So unless and until 19,757 breaks to the upside, I don't see there is going to be a very strong momentum coming into the Nifty. And we might uh, consolidate between uh, 19,600 um, uh, to 19,580. This is the range of demand and supply on the Nifty. Okay, let's move on to the five minutes chart. And let's see on the five minutes chart, what do we see? Yeah, so on the five minutes chart, uh, we have this level of demand price pulled back into this level and uh, has given us a bounce here. Uh, now, I would not want to be leaning against this level of demand. Um, maybe, you know, there could be some lower levels of demand that possibly we could lean against. This is the supply to watch out for on the five minutes chart, 725 to 745. Um, and then we also have this level of supply, which is 19,795 to 19,811. Okay, let's move on to some of the key levels on the bank nifty now. Let's wait for the charts to load. All right. So Bank Nifty on the monthly chart, nothing much, uh, nothing uh, new to say. Uh, 45,592 as we speak right now, making all-time highs. So pretty much similar to uh, the Bank Nifty. Uh, even the weekly chart is, uh, the last week did close as a negative candle and uh, did indicate a pause. But uh, right now it's not... Uh, showing anything or any signs of bearishness. Uh, today also uh, markets have been slightly on the bullish side. This is your uh, 240 minute demand zone, which is the closest from the current market price, 44,968 to 44,539. Now we are in a level of supply on the 75 minute chart, which is this level here. It's a little bigger level and uh, obviously you do not want to keep such a big risk. So maybe, um, you want to go on to the smaller time frames and look for new supply zones to be created. But this is the level to watch out for 45,593 to 45,896. Uh, and uh, the demand zone is from 44,753 to 44,541. So these are the key levels that you should be watching. If you look at the 15 minute chart, uh, and if I just zoom into that uh, 15 minute chart, um, yeah, we have this level 46,165 to 46,318. And uh, on the demand zone front, uh, this will be a level to watch out for. So I'm just going to mark this right now. This is the rally base rally 45,133 to 44,972. So we are uh, expecting uh, markets to be a little more bearish to sideways, um, at least on the bank nifty because of this level of supply. 
And for things to turn bullish on the bank nifty, we want to break uh, this supply zone and then start trading above that, right? Then uh, prices are more likely to move towards the 46,000 handle. But until then, um, we have these levels which are closer to current market price. So on the five minute chart, we have 45,344 to 45,282 odd levels. And on the supply zone front, you have 46,056 to 46,120. So these are the closest levels of demand and supply on the bank nifty to watch out for let's move on to the next uh, asset which is fin nifty let's load the fin nifty chart here let's wait for the levels to show up all right so fin nifty on the monthly chart again uh, pretty bullish making all time highs uh, last week fin nifty uh, did show a little bit of a pause, but uh, again, now there is some buying pressure coming into the Fin Nifty. On the 240 minute chart, we see 20,159, 19,995 as the closest level of demand. And remember, this level of demand is also coinciding with the Nifty level of demand. Okay, so if both these levels uh, hit together, then there is a likely uh, possibility of uh, bouncing, uh, bounces coming in onto both the indices. On the 75 minutes chart of Fin Nifty, we have two levels, uh, 20,687 to 20,729. And on the demand zone front, you have 20,064 to 20,013. So we are right now right in the middle. And uh, this is going to be uh, more or less uh, a sideways market as of now. Let's move on to the 15 minutes chart now. And on the 15 minute chart, the closest level of um, Demand is uh, 20,204 to 20,156. This will be a level to watch out for. And on the supply zone front, this is your closest level of supply. 20,520 to 20,557. I think more or less, uh, the levels are also pretty similar on the five minutes chart. Yeah, so this is your five minute levels of demand and supply. Again, on the Fin Nifty prices are right in the middle. So we might expect to see a little bit of consolidation. Okay, let's move on now uh, to the currency market. So let's talk a little bit about the USD INR. So generally, uh, the USD INR and the indices are uh, supposedly trading in the opposite direction. So they have an inverse correlation. And of course, not every correlation is 100% uh, accurate. So that's the reason why we also need to focus on price action. But here we see um, nothing much has changed on the USD INR chart. The monthly chart is indicating a lot of consolidation. Uh, weekly chart is also very, very tight right now. The range is just becoming tighter and tighter. And on the daily chart, if you, uh, I'm sorry, on the 240 minute chart, price did come into this level of demand for the second time, giving us a bounce. And now prices are trying to move uh, to the upper end once again. So, um, Keep a close watch on the USD INR because in case if the USD INR starts moving to the upside, uh, then we might tend to see a little bit of a correction in our indices as well. All right. The stock for the week, uh, I'm keeping a close watch on this guy. And uh, this is M&M. Now M&M does have its earnings uh, on the 4th of August. And uh, as an options trader, uh, m, m can uh, give you several opportunities as well. So let's move on to the 240 minute chart of m, &M and let's look at some key levels of demand and supply. Okay, so right now, if we look at uh, the 240 minute chart, prices are right in the middle. We have this level of supply. This is going to be something to watch out for because during earnings, uh, we might expect to see big spikes coming in. And the closest level of demand from current market price is this rally base rally level over here. Now we are right in the middle. So this can set up for a nice uh, non-directional trading opportunity. And uh, volatility is also currently very, very high on m, &M. So keep a close watch on m, &M um, for this week. These are the two levels. Uh, 1532, 1549 is a key level of supply. And 1407 to 1389 uh, is a key level of demand. 
if prices do come to these levels, um, there is a possibility of a directional move as well. But at the moment right now, prices are bang on in the middle. So it's more a possibility of uh, the prices remaining sideways than any kind of direction. All right, so this was our analysis for this week. I hope you enjoyed our analysis. Uh, I hope uh, you keep watching these, uh, these weekly sessions every day. And if you do like our channel, uh, do not forget to hit the subscription button. Uh, and do give your valuable comments in the comment section. Have a lovely trading week, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. This should not be treated as a recommendation. Please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing.